Welcome to the show. I'm the rave. I'm the future of this company. Believe in me. Maybe. Let's see. So today I'm talking about Final Fantasy 7, but I'm also talking about the covers for the comic books I picked up. These are the ones. These guys changed their costume way too much. This cover is one of my favorites. Not my favorite, but my second favorite. That's Grayson. And this is Red Hood Arsenal. And this one is my favorite cover of the week. Red Hood Arsenal. With some Robin stomping. He's damn hell, you can't do that to the Red Hood. He is the Red Damn Hood. And that's his hood. Actually, it's not even a hood. It's really a helmet. So why do they call him the Red Hood? Doesn't make any sense. So Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Not the, not the HD remaster. People complaining. Wait, wait, wait. Not turn bit, Not the turn bit. I want it to be the same exactly the way it was before. It's going to be the same as it was before. I'm not going to buy that bullshit. It's been making my money. Well, okay. You're going to cry about every damn game that comes out. It's not fair. They're breaking it up into pieces. Part one, part two, part three, part four. So it's going to be a whole bunch of money you're going to have to spend. Basically, it doesn't matter because every game you buy nowadays is the same way. Buy a game, you got to buy DLC, 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 DLC. And then you're like, oh, God, I just spent 300 fucking bucks. Actually, it's 180 for the whole set for the Final Fantasy VII. And then the turn-based thing. I wouldn't be telling you to get these things we would be with them that paying that game. Boom. Then buy the original. If you still have the original Final Fantasy VII game, then just put it in your PlayStation. One, two, whatever. And um, I guess you can download it on PS4 and PC. Just play that and live with that. I've beaten the game four times, so... Why in the living hell do I need to complain and be like, I want a new experience, even if it's the same story and they change some of the stuff? It would be alright. But I thought it looked awesome, the action base, but it does look like it's turn based because you're picking, like it says on the, on the bottom screen, it has like the part where you get to pick. So I mean, it didn't show that, that you're picking, but you pick an attack. And the one thing I'm really happy about is at least it has limit breakers. I love limit breakers. That's. What made me really love this game, I don't know why, but the story was great. I liked the Limit Breakers. I hated the Final Fantasy Thirteen thing where it didn't have a Limit Breaker. You dis... I mean, you can only play as the one character and you kind of selected what you wanted to do. Well, I want to be able to switch between characters like you did in the original Final Fantasy Seven, Or like you go to that person, that person, that person. And you get to pick what you wanted them to do. But you were playing as them, not just telling them what to do. And like Final Fantasy 15, you're playing as one character, and basically they're kind of doing their own thing. You're not really telling them what to do. I still like the gameplay. I love Final Fantasy 15. They said they're finished with it. Come out already. Well, I actually don't because I don't have no money for it. But maybe one day it'll be awesome. You know, some people don't probably don't like the Final Fantasy 15 gameplay, but because it's action based, like an action RPG. And some people do, but that's the way it is. People complain about everything. Nothing's good enough for them. Are they screwing us over by making it, cutting it into pieces? Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 5, Part 68, I don't care. But yeah, I think that's kind of stupid, but in a sense, I don't care. It's not really that big of a deal for me. Am I going to get every part? Probably, because I'm a Final Fantasy fan. No, the first part is really good what's gonna stop me from getting the second part well that would be another awesome game coming out at the same time as it like maybe Scalebound, which i really want that or maybe final fantasy 15 comes out between part two and three or maybe it comes out before part one and then part one comes right after then you're like what the that's too much final fantasy i'm a big final fantasy fan that fire emblem Anything with dragons, mostly Skyrim, which that has dragons, Dragon Age, I never really played the second one or the third one, I played the first one, but 
That's too much. Too much work. Fallout 4 just rented that. That was pretty awesome. I still think that Sunset Overdrive is actually a lot funner than... Don't play Sunset Overdrive and then Fallout 4. Because then Fallout 4 feels kind of like... You want to jump around and do all this shit. But you can't do all that stuff. Because you can only do it in that game. There's just so much... Stuff you can do in Sunset Overdrive. It's not the best story. Fallout 4 is not the best story either. So, But there's a lot of customizing. And that's what I like. Games that you can customize. Even if they made Final Fantasy 7. And you get to customize your character. Like Cloud. And make him wear whatever costumes he got. Even his cross-dressing costume. And he can wear that in battle. That would be pretty funny. And you can team up with several. Wait a minute. You can't do that. They won't let you. But that would be pretty awesome, like in my game, Final Fantasy Different Dimension, you can team up with Sephiroth as your partner, however, can you trust this man? No, you can't. So, other than that, there's something else I want to talk about, some other game or something. I'll get on to that later and do a different video for it. A couple fighting games I want to talk about. So, believe in the rave! Wanna be your final fantasy, Booyaka!